Welcome to another video about your beloved team. Dear fan, today we're going to stir your emotions because the news we're about to reveal will surprise you. We're committed to bringing you new videos every day, so show your support by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. The devastating defeat in Super Bowl 58 against the Kansas City Chiefs still resonates through the corridors of the San Francisco 49ers coaching staff, leaving an indelible mark that resulted in the abrupt dismissal of Steve Wilkes, who held the position of defensive coordinator for just one season. In an emotionally charged press teleconference last Wednesday, head coach Kyle Shanahan revealed to reporters the behind-the-scenes of the difficult decision, admitting that, despite hopes of maintaining coaching staff cohesion, Wilkes' departure became imperative due to the perception that he simply didn't integrate well into the team's system and culture. For Wilkes, this dismissal marks yet another tumultuous chapter in his career, now leading him to seek his sixth job in just seven years. His journey since his hiring by the Arizona Cardinals in 2018 has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. After a single season with the Cardinals, he moved on to serve as defensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns in 2019, followed by a sabbatical in 2020, before taking on the role of defensive coordinator at Missouri. His return to the NFL in 2022 brought him to the Carolina Panthers in various roles before landing with the 49ers as defensive coordinator. Wilkes hiring by the 49ers came after D'Amico Ryans departed for the Houston Texans, leaving a significant void in the team's defense that led the league in 2022. Shanahan had hoped to maintain the team's cohesion and success, but Wilkes faced the Herculean challenge of adapting his ideas and methodologies to an already established defensive scheme, a task that proved more complex than anticipated. While the regular season showed mixed results for the defense under Wilkes' guidance, with a marginal dip in production after a string of losses in October, it was in the playoffs that issues became more evident. The defense struggled against the ground game of teams like the Green Bay Packers and Detroit Lions, conceding crucial points in Super Bowl 58 against the Chiefs. Wilkes' dismissal is just one of many coaching changes the San Francisco 49ers will face in this tumultuous offseason. At least four members of the coaching staff are moving on to new challenges with other teams, including Clint Kubiak, who will take on the role of offensive coordinator in New Orleans, Anthony Lynn, who will be the game coordinator in Washington, Daryl Tapp, who will take on the role of defensive line coach also in Washington, and James Craig, who will be the offensive line coach in Las Vegas. Shanahan now finds himself challenged with finding a worthy replacement for Wilkes. He is exploring both internal and external candidates and is open to potential changes in the tactical system, provided he believes it's the best choice for the team. With several coaching vacancies to fill, the 49ers are facing a transition period as they prepare for the upcoming season, aiming to restore the glory and cohesion that led them to the Super Bowl. After the conclusion of Super Bowl 58, where the San Francisco 49ers faced a devastating defeat against the Kansas City Chiefs, a wave of speculation and finger-pointing began to emerge as fans and experts attempted to determine the reason behind the unfavorable outcome. Among players and team members, the atmosphere was laden with frustration and disappointment, and social media became the battleground for public exchanges of accusations and defenses. The primary focus of controversy centered around head coach Kyle Shanahan, whose strategic decisions during the game came under criticism from many. One of the main issues discussed was the choice to receive the ball in the second half of overtime, instead of opting to start with possession in the first half. This strategic decision came under intense scrutiny, with many arguing that Shanahan could have taken a different approach to maximize the team's chances of success. Additionally, rookie player Jake Moody also faced criticism, especially after a blocked extra point during the game. Despite his previous contribution with two field goals of over 50 yards, this error was highlighted as a crucial moment that could have altered the course of the game. However, the focus of the controversy quickly shifted to individual players, with social media becoming a platform for public exchanges of accusations among team members. A tweet from 49ers O-lineman John Feliciano triggered a series of events when he expressed his opinion on who was to blame for a crucial moment in the game. 
Feliciano pointed to his teammate and defensive tackle Spencer Burford as responsible for failing to secure a first down while in the red zone. His statement further fueled the debate, with many observers trying to discern who the true culprit was. In a series of interactions on social media, Philadelphia Eagles player Carter also joined the discussion, expressing dismay with Feliciano's words and alleging a previous incident between them during a regular season game. Carter claimed that during the Eagles game against the 49ers, he and Feliciano had a heated argument, during which Feliciano made insensitive comments about a car accident Carter had in college, resulting in the death of his teammates. Allegations and defenses were exchanged, with both players attempting to justify their actions and words. This public exchange of accusations not only highlighted existing tensions within the 49ers team, but also shed light on the complexities of player relationships in a highly competitive and emotionally charged environment. While social media provided a platform for individual expression, it also exposed internal disputes and differences of opinion within the team. As discussions continued on social media, fans and observers remained divided on who was the true culprit for the Super Bowl 58 defeat. While some pointed to questionable strategic decisions and individual errors, others acknowledged the complexity of the sport and the inevitability of mistakes and setbacks. Ultimately, what emerged from this public turmoil was a complex and multifaceted image of the internal dynamics of a high-level sports team, where competitive pressures, intense emotions, and the pursuit of excellence collide on a global stage. While social media continues to be an arena for debates and discussions, the true test for the San Francisco 49ers and their team will be how they recover and come together after this devastating defeat. The San Francisco 49ers are facing a significant turnover in their coaching staff, with solid information indicating that Anthony Lynn is about to join the Washington Commanders as their new game coordinator. Although this exciting hiring has not yet been officially announced by the team, it marks yet another loss for the 49ers in terms of coaching talent. This move to the Commanders is not an isolated case, as they recently managed to lure Adam Peters, former assistant general manager of the 49ers, to take on the role of general manager. Peters' departure was a significant loss for the San Francisco team, and his migration to Washington only intensifies the trend of talent moving to other teams. Meanwhile, another NFL backstage transaction is the hiring of James Craig by the Las Vegas Raiders to be the new offensive line coach. Craig, who previously contributed as an assistant offensive line coach for the 49ers, now brings his experience to the Raiders, adding an extra layer of potential rivalry in future matchups between these teams. The pre-existing relationship of Anthony Lynn with newly appointed Washington Commanders head coach Dan Quinn, along with his connection with Peters, was emphasized by ESPN's respected reporter Adam Schefter. Lynn already had established ties with the 49ers, having served as an assistant coach since 2022, after his tenure as offensive coordinator with the Detroit Lions. His arrival at the Commanders is sure to bring a new dynamism to their coaching staff. In addition to his notable coaching career, it's important to highlight Anthony Lynn's successful playing career, having competed for the San Francisco 49ers, New York Giants, and Denver Broncos, where he celebrated two Super Bowl victories. His transition to coaching led him through various teams, including the Cleveland Browns, Dallas Cowboys, Buffalo Bills, and New York Jets before taking over as head coach of the San Diego-slash-Los Angeles Chargers from 2017 to 2020, achieving a respectable record of 33 wins and 31 losses, along with a playoff appearance of 1-1. One -one. Furthermore, Schefter also reported that the Commanders are planning to bring in Daryl Tapp, current assistant defensive line coach for the San Francisco 49ers, to take on the role of defensive line coach in Washington. This move not only highlights the loss of talent from the 49ers, but also showcases the commander's ability to attract high-caliber professionals to their coaching staff. Now it's your turn to interact with U.S. Leave your comments below and let U.S. know what you thought of the video. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification bells.